Alrighty, so I've been inspired by Too Old For Toys to go rooting around in the parents' attic and here are some of the things I found. So uh, it's not a review, it's just me looking at my old toys and if that sounds boring, it probably is. So you, you know where the X is, but give me the thumbs up anyway. Before there was Gundams, there were air fixes and they were good, I don't know. So I would have done these when I was about 12 or 13. Some top notch painting skills as you can see. Uh, the, the attention to detail and the straight lines, just just incredible really. Very proud of my work, I think all these are going in the bin. I was a big fan of the old F15 now, I didn't do this any justice. But I actually really like this model, one of my favourite. Hence why I'm a big fan of the Seekers and Starscream. So it's a hit movie this summer and also an old classic. The A-Team, oh yeah. Used to love this show as a kid. Um, don't really know what this was, but I remember playing with it. Obviously, brokey the pointy outy bit. Kind of sad, but that's just life when you're a kid. But the 18 van. I pity the fool! He pities the fool! And I should really stop doing that. And of course, with all cool little action figures like this. Boink! I got no legs! I got no legs! Oh, there they are! Oh, there they are! So in the beginning, before computers, there was motocross. Ah, the batteries are dead. I actually found the cover to the 18 van. Woohoo! And another little motorized 18 van, which is long since broken. Plus, uh, Murdoch with no arm, uh, faces leg, which obviously Murdoch ate. And I think that used to be his little chopper. It spins. Spinny chopper. Now, I've also got um, some sort of action base. I do not have a clue what that is. Also, another little piece of randomness. Um, does this thing look kind of familiar? It's kind of like an armoured Valkyrie. Stuck onto um, a truck. <laughs> Go knockoffs. <laughs> That's uh, pretty awesome. This is all that remains of my old He-Man collection. Um, I used to have a Skeletor, but um, I, I kind of sold them. A lot of my toys went in the great sale of 93 when I kind of was trading in my old toys for new computer games. Battle Cat is actually wearing the other lad's backpack. Now I don't even know what this guy's called anymore and to be honest I don't really care. But if you do care about He-Man, check out Jaddy's channel, which I'll include links on, uh, on the screen and below in the uh, box with the information that no one ever reads. It's in there, the place you don't read. No way these toy collection would be complete without a little bit of turtle power. With foot stompy action. Oh yeah. So what we have here is the remnants of the G.I. Joe collection. 93 was a bit of a popular year for the G.I. Joes. And apart from maybe one or two of my favourites, I kind of got rid of them all. I know the names of absolutely none of these things anymore. Except that's Flint. That guy uh, there, he's Flint. Don't know who he is. Snake Eyes, he's a little doggy. Timberwolf, I think. And then you have Zartan. Um, some crazy dude with his no head. And loads of weapons. I got loads of weapons. Um, probably couldn't have found these when I was selling the little action figure. So I hung on to them. Now we also have that tank in the background, which used to be a motorized tank. Um, I kind of took out the motor when I was going through my let's look at everything electronic and just rip it apart and have fun breaking it stage which is a bit of a shame and the plastic has warped over time and while this guy here is hiding the fact just move him out of the way you can see the thing he's popping up there that's right um these all these guys kind of suffer from the the ultimate fate of most gi joes which is okay he's pretty good and he those who are good and um, those who are also good except your man has no head but the rest of them the elastic band broke that holds the legs together which is a bit of a shame but nothing you can't fix with a wee bit of super glue. I'm sure old 80s toys aren't meant to have articulation. So while on the subject of action figures, I wonder will anybody be able to recognise this? Used to be a show I used to like watching as a kid. Which I thought was really cool. And one or two action figures came out. So a few Star Wars vehicles, and the ones I couldn't get rid of. Obviously it's hard to sell stuff that doesn't have a zapper. I remember this being a little bit bigger in the movie. And something else. I found up in the attic, which is kind of one of the reasons I went up there looking in the first place, was this lad. Is it still in the box? 
Ooh, it is. Now, the one thing I'm 100% sure of is I did sell the action figure. I remember that much because um, it used to be one of the more popular action figures I remember. I liked it, but I got a good price for it and I probably ended up buying Monty Mole or something stupid with it. And what this used to do was you did the landing gear at the back. So you sit it down, you used to point up nice and straight. Um, even with an action figure on it, it would come down a tiny bit, but not much. Like it couldn't go down any further than that. But the real feature was little button here, spadoink, which was always pretty cool because Luke Skywalker used to blow these to bits with his wee lightsaber, which was always good crack. So if you're into things like G.I. Joe, Star Wars, and random 80 toys, make sure you check out the guy's name on the screen, Will Breaker 41. I'm actually kind of embarrassed about this. I own a GoBot. Um, I've, I've learned the error of my way. This is the one, the only, and I'm very sorry. Oh, but it's a good one to transform. Yes. Ta-da! It's Sunstreaker or that other one, Sideswipe. Yeah, damn. I thought it was Sideswiped. I, I swear to God, it was, it was sold to me as Sideswipe. Yep, this is what remains of my mask collection. A load of broken bits and one mask. Oh yeah, I did come across a few figures. Han Solo, dude, dude, uh weird metal dude and storm shadow i did actually keep one but yeah the usual story now this guy's a bit weird and i don't actually know what it is it's completely metal from the head down and it has a bit of weirdy action going on here now see if i can get this to work if i basically hold the body and move the arms oh yeah look at that i'm a little bit disturbed why i had this as a kid and i really would like to know what it's actually from because um, that's a wee bit odd. <laughs> so, an interesting little toy. It's actually really heavy, fully die cast, except as I said before for the head. And I believe it's from, and it's made in Hong Kong in 1978 or 3. I can't read it at the moment. But as you can see, there's a bit of rust going on there. And um, it's actually some nice little detail on it. Anyway, I've got three random transforming toys here. Now, I don't actually know where these two come from, but that's a Bandai toy, which was quite kind of surprising because I didn't actually think I owned anything from Bandai except for obviously Jeffire there in the background. And um, I have a couple of Takutoku toys. So we pull this apart here at the bottom, pull it out, pull it out, push that down, put the landing gear in, flop that down. These come out at the side. Now, I don't actually know what this is or what it's from and you can see it's an MR52 so I don't actually have a clue what this is but it's actually a nice little transforming toy now the next thing we have here again I do not know what this is it's just some random transforming toy and I'm not 100% certain where this guy's from either so I don't know who makes it and um, I didn't see any stamps but I didn't try and look very hard another jet Pull down this, fold out the arms, fold down the head, and you've got one crazy weird looking transforming head thing. So there's something missing here that would flip down so you could actually stand them up. Because then, um, yeah, you can kind of see what's going on there. So that one's kind of cool, that's crap, and that's really nice. Here we have a nice pen, some interesting colours on it. Why would I even be interested in a pen? Well, that's right, uh, you're actually meant to take this out, this also comes out, hopefully you put it in his foot. There we go, you stick this in here, it becomes his head, and that way around. Ta-da! Another cool little random transforming toy, as I said before, if it transformed and it was random, I seemingly used to end up with them. You can pull out the legs, it's a cool little battleship. Now, I think this thing used to fire out sparkies back in the day, when it had a little sparky motor in it, because if I look at this here, that sounds like a sparkly generator. And if I give it a wee shake, that's not making a noise now. Well, there was a little thing banging around in it earlier. So, you reveal the head, and it's a nice little transforming battleship. Actually, used to like this. It was one of my more popular toys as a kid. So, anyway, nice simple transformation. I used to like these things. You could just like throw them all around and 
transform them in seconds. Not like your average toy today, it takes ages. Now I'm low to emit it. I think I have two more GoBots. I know that's definitely a GoBot. Not too sure what this is. I think it's a GoBot. Uh, so I'm just going to accept that it's a GoBot even though I don't actually know what it is. But it's actually kind of cool. It's forward, stands up, and you got the little armies, as you can see. And then, as I said before, this is definitely a GoBot. I recognize it as a wee GoBot. Ta-da! Now this was actually one of my favorite toys as a kid. It's a Corvette. It doesn't actually do a lot, but what it did, I liked. So it basically transformed into like a weapons thingy me bobby. Stuff on the side, rocket launchers on the back. Ah, oh, this thing was brilliant. Still think it's brilliant. Up and down gun, little gun in the headlights, and it all transformed back by just pushing that thing in at the front, it goes in, push down that, and it's all hidden away. So here's something, I never knew what it was as a kid, but any of you collectors out there who know your stuff about diaclones will know what this is with the diatrain. I do have the two little pilots that sit in. That sit in there, but I have them packed away at the minute in a little jar with all those little guns and stuff. So starting off with my favorite toy of all times, good old Jetfire. Now I actually kept all the super parts and they are in perfect nick as they've been stuck in the attic for ages. You cannot beat your Voltron. Now unfortunately I do not have the humongous sword anymore. That's the die cast, so that's completely die cast and the thing is only savage. So anyway, before looking at those other ones, so there we have Ultra Magnus in all his glory. This is where it all began. My first transforming toy. Good old wheel something. Uh, wind Charger. Wind Charger. Good old Wind Charger. How could I forget? With his incredibly floppy legs. His arms that kind of pop out to the side. There we go. Now the guy suffers from a bit of... Um, I don't know. That's kind of bad. He's got floppy, floppy legs. Oh, teary-eyed. Teary-eyed, it's, it's, it's bringing back happy memories as a kid. Ah, oh, the days. The days. I'm not sure what this is. I think it might be a MicroMaster. I didn't think I actually owned any MicroMasters. I'm assuming it's a Transformer. I really don't know what it is. It doesn't have any Autobot or Decepticon insignia on it, and it also doesn't have any Transformer branding of any type. So, it's a car, Transforms. I'm going to call it a Transformer. So, if we start here, you can see... The legend that is Omega Supreme. Um, possibly one of my favourite mechanical toys as a kid. Now it wasn't my favourite Transformer. But I absolutely love that thing. For it to walk across the floor and stuff. My only Dinobot in front of him. Quick switch. Um, six changer. Forgot I had that. That was a nice little surprise to find. Then we've obviously got Galvatron. Now I actually have the guns for Rodimus Prime here. And that's Hot Rod's gun. I did have a Hot Rod. I did have a smoke screen. And I also had a sound wave. And it looks like I've given the treat to my nephew. I didn't realize I gave all three of them to my nephew, but I have. So we have Springer, uh, Scourge in the background, Inferno. This lad over here, I um, can't remember what his name is again, was it Metroplex? And Computron. Also, I'd like to say thanks to all you subscribers out there. Um, it's been a while since I've given a, a thank you subs uh, video. And uh, there's 2,300 of you now or so. So I really appreciate it, and hopefully you'll enjoy the other videos I make even if this one was a little bit random, as it's kind of a rummage in my attic. Something Gundam related, um, I promised this lad a shout out, Gundam Guns, check out his videos for all things gun related for Gundam. 